下にいた役立たずどものせいで勘違いさせてまったらしいが堂島を甘く見るなよキリお前はもうこの手で直接やらねえと気が済まねえいつまで脳がきたるてんださっさとかかってこいああかかってこねえならこっちから行くぜ Welcome back to another episode on b h o Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In today's episode, we take a look and review Yakuza Zero. Developed by Ryu Ga Gotoku Studio and released by Sega in 2018, Yakuza Zero marks the first installment that is an origin story of the first Yakuza starring Kazuma Kiru and Goru Majima. Both have ties with the Yakuza in which they both strive to clear their names and or getting back in. The game is an action adventure story set in an open world environment that looks open, but there are certain shops, restaurants, clubs, arcades, batting cages that you can only visit. The third person setting is gorgeous and when you transverse the city, which is based in Japan, Tokyo, Kabachicho, and Osaka's. Don Tombori areas in 1988 and 1989. The story revolves around both Kiru and Majima as they both have ties to Yakuza. Kiru is set up on a crime that makes the Jojima family in a Yakuza look bad. He is expelled and is free to find out who framed him in order to clear his name, including his adopted father, Kaz- Kazuma. <laughs> もう親父なんて関係ねえよてめえは組み抜けたんだろうが<笑>確かにそうだ<笑>その言葉待ってたぜ何<笑>ってめえ Majima, on the other hand, is looking to get back into the Yakuza by buying himself in with the cabaret he runs or to question his morals in doing more for the Yakuza. The story is like watching a very long but involving soap opera. The voice actors and writing really pull you into the main storyline, and you can't but help to wonder what comes next. The authenticity of the visuals, looks, acting, and voice all combine to one great presentation. You just get hooked on. Hey! Oh, man, I'm not going to do anything. Huh? I'm not going to do anything. Oh, kid! Hey. I'm not going to do a n y t h The detail in the city is done incredibly well, where you feel like you're actually there. Barring all the crime and action on the streets, which is the main way you make money in the beginning to progress your character in different attributes, like different movesets, bonus power ups, to health bonuses. Later, both characters will be able to make more money in real estate to running a cabaret club and completing side missions. Doing more in the city on the side will help complete the fighting styles of both characters as they progress. Simply progressing through the main story alone is definitely not enough. The action and gameplay is smooth and fun to experiment with. I love being able to switch to different fighting styles where you can pick and advance what suits you best. I myself like Rush style with Kiru and Thug style for Majima as they both are fast and combo heavy. Yeah! <laughs> 
walking around Japan might feel like a huge undertaking, but once you start running back and forth from one end to the other doing um, fetch quests, you'll find out that it's very doable without fast transport. The only time when you need fast transport is if you want to avoid numerous fights along the way like thugs, yakuza's, drunks, and disorderly people on the way. That's when currency doesn't matter. Other things you can do, which is similar to Shenmue, where you can interact with people around you, making friendships to deeper their side quests, to even just eating out or enjoying the arcades to batting cages. You can lose a lot of time doing fight clubs to playing Space Harrier while wandering around the city. The visuals are well done with the main characters well represented in their detail and voice representation. I do wish that the lower end characters in the game at least have the same high quality clothing textures as the main characters as they don't look so out of place once you talk to them. This is where the game gets a bit whimsical and goofy as the side stories are complete opposites of the main story where it has a serious and dark tone. You can be seen helping out a rock band, film movies with a producer, to helping a kid get his video game back. All these and so many more are all around the city to complete. Depending on how you play the game, it could last you 30 plus hours to over 100 hours. I have had issues on some of the tasks that really make you lose your attention in the game. Some of the fetch quests in the game just take way too long and you feel like the time spent should be time spent on the actual main story moving along. As a quick example is when you are researching a company and looking for information. In order to get to the next storyline you need to buy five different drinks scattered all over town making you visit every store to get their specific drink before they talk. This fetch quest was long and annoying that in the end they gave me less than a minute of information to move on. These fetch quests and some of the side quests just feel like, why are they even in there? Ch, <laughs> Yakuza 0 still gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its great writing and addicting main storyline with fabulous characters and great voice acting that creates a dark atmosphere coming to life. The long fetch quests do take you out of the game at times but pulls you right back in with its addictive fighting options and fun whimsical goody goody side quests. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews on Yakuza 0. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn.